Now, now, guys, let's get straight into this. Yeah, the big news this yes. morning is the Sydney Harbour Bridge is closed because uh, a desperate Sydney man has taken the bridge to make a statement. He called into the grill team. Uh, just bear with me a sec. I'll just get my phone out of my pocket, buddy. Right up, I can buddy. barely hear you. How you going, man? Good, mate. Hey, mate. Uh, you're there to make a statement. What, what's this about? Mate, there's systematic fails in both federal and state government. It was docks, the police, and uh, also the school systems that are, that, that are letting letting our children down. And the children don't have a voice, so it's time to give them a voice. Well, uh, children and other parents. Have you, have you ever heard of parent alienation syndrome, Matty? I have, yes. Yeah. I, I, I recommend all your listeners www.parentalienation.com.au uh, www Look so, it up. So it's happened it's, to you? It's, it's, child, it's, it's child abuse. I've been subjected to it. The police have bought right into it. They've been played for fools. Uh, I've had a pretty bad run through this separation, Matty. I've tried to keep it as peaceful as possible. There's a major failure in the fact that, you know, there's no one looking after our kids when parents separate and get divorced. It's about time we took action. They give parents counselling and everyone else counselling. What, they wait till kids actually act out before they help them? No way, Matty. It's time it all changes. Yep. Where are you now, mate? Right on the centre, mate. Right underneath the, uh, the Australian flag, the state flag from the other side. I'm just... Uh, are you safe, and, mate? Uh, are you safe? You got ropes? Oh, yeah. Or... Oh, please, mate. Oh, mate, I'm, I'm ex-military. I'm trained to be, uh, to be up here, actually. A few years back, I used to do the rundowns down the southern pylons and stuff like that um, in military training. But uh, at the end of the day, mate, I've, I've, uh, I've parked my truck up down there. I left a note in it asking the police to stop the traffic because I do have unmanuated equipment with me, um, which you know poses a hazard to any any motorist underneath. I don't want anyone to get hurt out of this. We had reports. That, you know, someone called through and said they saw you up the top. Um, I'm up what? the top, buddy. Yeah. Well, what, I'm what? lower the road down so, the centre. Yep, and you're going to go down, stop traffic, and make that statement right now? Uh, I'm not going to go down just yet, mate. I've got to have a drink. It's a long walk up here. I'm just tying some banners on, zip tying. Did I tell you what, they were ballsy blokes of blokes that built this. Mick, after this, mate, this is pretty extreme what you're doing, and obviously this is the last resort. Um, what What do you think? Last resort. What? I've asked to help MG so many times. No one wants to help, not the blokes. You know, if the chicks get in first... I know that. Yeah, and, uh, and start throwing stones, the blokes don't stand a chance. Mate, how's your mental state been of late? Are, are, mate, you, are you a oh, look, I've been, I've been pushed and pushed and pushed, Matty. Um, but, saying that, I'm not just doing this for me and for my kids, I'm doing this for other kids. You know, kids don't have a voice. What are you hoping to uh, get out of this by making this protest, stopping the traffic on the Sydney Harbour? What are you hoping to get out of this in the next hour or so? In the next hour or so, well, once they uh, once they actually send um, you know somebody to talk to me, I've asked to uh, to speak with certain. I've left a note in the car to ask to speak with certain members of of uh, our uh, fine police force, and um, once they get here and, and we just start discussing things, what I'd like to see is some. Uh, some policy changes in the end, but, um, but you know, for starters, we need to talk it through. Have you been in touch with a, a, an organisation called Dads in Distress, Mick, at all? Look, I was, I, someone mentioned those guys to me recently, but uh, MG, uh, you know, you of all people will know what it's like, mate. You know, blokes can get pretty proud and all that sort of stuff, and, mm. and uh, you don't necessarily reach out for help. I mean, I've you know, been hard by combat on over four continents, so, you know... Uh, that's not the route that, uh, that I've chosen, um, but, uh, but I do encourage others to go there. So I do have a uh, someone that, that, that does help me with um, from time to time. Mick, have so, you? Uh, can I just ask you a couple of things, mate? Are you is your car parked on the bridge, and do you have like what's what's on the banner that you're going to display? Mate, I've got two banners. One's "Please help my kids." The other one is uh, "Kids first, mate." Look, we, we can hear how desperate you are. We, oh, yeah. you, know, we get, we, you get, we can hear the anxiety in your voice. We ask you a couple of things, mate. We ask you just to be careful, pal. We know you're an ex-military man. You've given, in that way, we know you've given great service to the country. We know you're desperate. We know that you can handle these type of conditions. We ask you to, for your own safety and everybody else's, just a couple, a couple yeah, of right, big mate. breaths, Excuse mate. Um, no, no, I'm right. I mean, but don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm well past the, the worst. Of it. All right. See you, man. Mick, uh, good luck, mate. And, I'll, I'll keep in touch. Uh, yep. Good luck. Right, Take Mick. care of yourself. Look after yourself, brother. 
We'll, well, we'll be right, man. All right, thanks, uh, Mick, for calling the grill team there. He's on the top of the bridge right now, and the yep. whole thing is closed and, at the moment. We get to say that, you know, it makes some clear. He, he's desperate, but it is not, when people look up there, it is not a suicide attempt. He's made that clear. He is making a protest. He's making a statement. He has found himself alienated from his kids mm-hmm. with nowhere to go. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it is a protest, MG, and Maddie and Paige, but guys, this is the right thing to do, to disrupt Sydney like he's doing. Um, and then he ends, he's going to get hauled down there at some stage today. He's going to go to jail for this. Is that the right way to set the example to try to get, uh, you know, his kids back, which is answer, obviously what he's desperate that, to do? To answer that, I don't know because I've never been in that position. I don't know how desperate you can be to do something like this. But if you're on the way into the city over the Harbour Bridge and you can see this bloke, or do you agree with Gus? Um, is this the right way to go about things? Hi, how are you going? Good, Good thank, thank you. you. So Mick took the bridge this morning. Do you understand why he did that? I know exactly why he did that. Um, I've been, I've known him for a while. I've been friends with him for quite some time and I was with him for a lot of the time when he was trying to get in contact with Docs and the police um, purely because his kids were in danger every day. How, how long has Mick been fighting this cause for? Uh, it would be about two years now and nothing has been done. He didn't sound desperate, but he sounded like a man on a mission. He, he thought this through and he, he decided exactly what he was going, going to do. And even though it was very big, he got his point across, didn't he? Oh, yeah, definitely, which is exactly what he's been trying to do for years. Uh, It's not just for him, it's for everybody else whose kids could be in danger or are in danger, and no one is doing about it, anything about it. Had people call up, there's been, uh, well, probably been 70% 70 of people supporting you, 30%, mainly people who caught in traffic saying they can't believe this Mm. guy. Can you tell us what sort of guy is Mick? He's a very straightforward kind of guy who will do anything that he can for his kids, everything and anything. They're the most important thing in his life and he's willing to do anything for them. And obviously, going up on the bridge, it's the next step that he felt that he had to take. We all get to des- desperate stages in our life and this, and Mick seems like he was... Uh, he reached his tether. Um, with your relationship with Mick, you know that he was never going to hurt anybody or himself? Oh, no, never. He's, he's very, very trained in what he does. And he knew exactly what he was doing, and the last thing he would do would be endanger anybody else. He looks like he might get charged now. What worries me is that he's made this protest, and as Maddie says, it was peaceful to a certain degree. No one has lost their lives and so forth. However, he's now in a situation where, you know, he might be charged and make, make it even harder for him to get his kids back. Honestly, he's the type of guy that really wouldn't care if he got charged, if he got put in jail. He wouldn't care because it's for his kids. Even if he doesn't end up being able to get his kids, he needs to get his kids out of their situation with their mother right now because they are in danger every day that they are with her. All right, well, uh, thank you very much for calling the grill team this morning. That was uh, one of Mick's former partners.